Atlas D missile went up at 9.47 local time. Then round and round the Earth. The first orbit was completed at 11.20. The whole world listened and waited as he orbited again, finishing the second round an hour and a half later. And here are pictures of Colonel Glenn, weightless in the capsule, as he made the historic journey. After he talked with control, a third orbit was completed. The destroyer USS Noah had the distinction of picking up the capsule, which landed in the South Atlantic six miles away from it. The whole flight had lasted just under five hours. And when that very brave man appeared on deck, all could see that, as he said himself, his condition was excellent. From the Noah, he was flown by helicopter to the aircraft carrier Randolph. Must have been a relief to be home and dry aboard the carrier. He'd certainly had quite a trip during which he'd seen three dawns and three nightfalls. They'll treasure that autograph, I guess. And now Colonel Glenn is getting a hero's welcome everywhere. Naturally, for America was right back in the space race thanks to his calm courage. <laughs>